hi guys and welcome to another video today is my second packing video um essentially um this is my kids car goodie bags um stuff that i am going to want or need for the car for them some goodies that they haven't seen for, and also some things that they have that will be lovely to have in the car that they may forget or well Sadie would forget to pack or even me for like Elliot but we are going to go ahead and get started with Elliot's little bag here so these little bags I got at Dollar Tree I just thought they were cute and I mean I found a purpose for them <laughs> so all is good so some of these things like I said are brand new some things are just from around the house that are maybe a comfort thing or a favorite activity and we need all that stuff to get through this car right um also I don't know if I mentioned um really at any point we're going to Panama City with my mom and my brother and everybody so we're looking at like a 14 to 16 hour car ride. Um, fun. So <laughs> the first thing I have in here is one of Elliot's favorite stuffies. Now he doesn't necessarily sleep with this anymore, um, but he does really like it. He, it really entertains him. It tells stories. I'm not gonna turn it on or help run in here, but it does turn on. It plays stories. It has matching storybooks, but I'm not bringing those. Um, just blue, but got that. I do have some pull-ups in here. I also will be throwing in a pack of wipes. These are just kind of, so we don't have to dig through the suitcase or anything. Um, normally I have a car cube that I keep everything like this stuff in, but we are getting a rental car. So I did need to throw some of these in here. Um, kind of on that topic, I got some boogie wipes. My mom actually picked these up and I just threw them in. Nice to have. This little giraffe I got off of Shein. He really likes the, um, I don't know what they're called, um, but they, the tubes that do this. Um, so I thought he would enjoy this cute little giraffe. I also will insert a picture of um, his little desk tablet situation um, that we're going to be trying for this trip in the car. Um, it does come with a dry erase board on it. Um, so we do have some markers so you can color because he is finally getting into that coloring stage and actually loves to color. So that's very exciting. Um, but also these will suction, but they're not the best. So he can get a good couple uses out of it, but they don't suction full time. So he's got another toy in here. He loves things that spin. So he does have this and it does have a suction uh, cup, but again, it'll stick for a little bit, but not a super long time. So like it won't last our whole trip. Um, but we do have this. So a good thing I feel like we can like switch these on and off because they don't stick a whole bunch. So may maybe that'll work in our favor. I'm not sure. My mom grabbed a box of these and we did open a couple. I wanted him to get feel for them. Um, but I don't know how he enjoys these. <laughs> Sadie has been enjoying them more than Elliot. So I don't know if I'll leave them in the bag or not. Um, but I've been wanting to keep things for the most part new but he is a very sensory kid or toddler so you know um this is something he hasn't seen my mom also picked this up it's a little crinkle book um and I will say if you are new my toddler he is too but he is a very sensory um oriented kid um he is possibly um on the autistic spectrum he's waiting to get um like observed so some of these toys might be a little babyish to some people for their two-year-old but honestly whatever makes my two-year-old happy and that he is content playing with is my concern I'm not going to put him up in a two three four toy category if those don't entertain him and he doesn't like them 
um, you know, eventually we work our way up slowly. Some kids are faster than others and that's totally okay. My kiddo still likes the baby toys and that's what he functions best with. So he does have this little crinkle book. I know that was probably a long explanation, but if you're not aware, um, again, this is probably one that some people would say he's too uh, old for, but Elliot likes vibration. Um, he actually, well, my mama actually had a dog toy that was like this for her dog and Elliot loved it. So it's just a vibrating ball. Um, so we got that. This I hauled before, got this at the dollar, dollar spot in Target. Just a cute little, I thought it was at first just a sensory pouch, but it is um, like a hide and go seek thing or a treasure hunt. You got four letters and four shapes in here to find. So got that. I could not find the fourth shape. My brother and Maddie and everybody came over and my, my brother had to show me because I could not find it. So, you know, um, also from Dollar Spot at Target, these cute little dinosaur poppets. Um, Sadie will probably end up with a couple of these, but that's okay. And this cute little Frappuccino poppet. Elliot loves poppets. I have some of his favorite cars. Um, I took them slowly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they'll be fun and brand new again for him in the car, but I got some of his minion cars, his little dino truck, and another little Hot Wheel that he likes. And then for coloring and everything, I don't know if he'll actually use these or if Sadie will like dive in. These I got from Dollar Tree. They're really cute and you just add stickers to them. I don't know how he'll do with stickers, but we'll see I thought they were cute and anything that we don't use we obviously can use for the condo while we're there and then also on the way back home because don't forget when you guys are packing and trying to entertain kids you gotta get back home as well I got a mess free coloring book of baby shark he loves baby shark you gotta love the mess free and same with this one. This is also a mess free, but it's a little bit bigger of a coloring book, but this one's super cute. So I have all that for Elliot and now I will move on to Miss Sadie. Oh my gosh. Hers of course is a little bit bigger <laughs> um, of a bag. Hers is also again from Dollar Tree and it's Stitch. So move that little stuff out of the way a little bit. Okay. So diving in, we do have a snack bag, um, like in the car, like packed or packed for the car. I said that wrong. Of like some bigger snacks and everything. But I do have this cute little pouch that I got off, that I got off of Team U. Um, I think it's really cute. Sadie so threw some snacks in here. So she's got a couple of granola bars, a neutral green bar, some roll-ups, and some Krabby Patties. <laughs> so this is just a couple of little things for her. But we will have more in the car. And then my mama bought her these. Little sour airhead things. She's got her headphones. These actually are a lifesaver. Do not forget to pack something like this for your kiddo. If they have a tablet or a sound making device. You probably will not want to listen to it the whole time. Unfortunately, Elliot will not wear headphones, so we're kind of stuck listening to whatever he watches. Um, but yeah, and before anybody says anything, my brother gave her these. I did not purchase these. She would not have gotten something like this from mom. Um, not at her age, anyways. Um, a little game, like a little, I could take this out of the package, but it's a little water game. She's got some other little knickknacks in here, a little fidget maze cube, a little surprise blind ball in here. Got this from Dollar Tree. Um, this is a tin. I need to put some colored pencils in. This is also from Dollar Tree, but super cute little tin. Also from Dollar Tree, cute little Crayola colored pencil sharpener. 
These I got off of Shein, little ice cream cone pins to go with her ice cream cone pop it notebook. How cute is that? I had to match. I have hair on me. It's bothering me. Ugh. Okay, moving on. We got some car bingo cards. Me and my brother used to have these growing up in the car and they were so much fun. I wish that, or maybe I just didn't see them, but the, like the license plates, finding all the license plates, but some fun bingo cards. A would you rather book, Sadie loves reading these. I did pick her up a new chapter book. Well, a book. Um, so she does like to read, so either on the way there, at the condo, on the beach, we will see. And then she does have some coloring books in here. This one's from Dollar Tree. My mom picked up this one. So she does have these two. Um, Sadie does have a lot of colored pencils, art supplies, so she will be packing her own colored pencils. So... I don't have those. I don't know what she plans on bringing necessarily. And then she also has a matching little sipped blanket in here so she can chill up in the car or, you know, again, condo if she wants or needs an extra blanket. And then she will, of course, have her Nintendo Switch um, and her like little tablet that she plays with. Um, so I think she should be good and occupied for the car ride. I know she'll probably sleep um, a little bit better than Elliot will. So that's probably also where a good chunk of her time will go. Um, that's also why we plan on leaving so late too. Hopefully sleep will be long um, so we can get a good bit of driving done before the sun uh, rises. But yeah, that is everything in these two bags. Hopefully to get my kids through a 16 hour ish, 14 hour ish car ride there and then back. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any other suggestions, please let me know. I hope that this was helpful for some people if you guys plan on traveling anytime soon. But yeah, I will see you guys later. <laughs> Bye guys.